Okay, uh, I want to hear your thoughts about this. This is this is interesting, and I want to try to read to you guys what happened here this past week. You know that Fast and Furious spin-off movie, Hobbs and Shaw, starring Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham? Well, even though the film is already in production and you've seen you've seen some of the first images of the movie. Well, guess what? There's trouble in paradise. Because the producer of the Fast and Furious franchise, Neil H. Moritz, has filed a lawsuit against Universal Pictures over Hobbs and Shaw. And I'm reading off of uh, the article here on Deadline. So basically, Neil Mort is suing Universal for this spin-off movie, Hobbs and Shaw, because, uh, well, Moritz is demanding to be reinstated as the lead producer on Hobbs and Shaw. And he demands to be paid tens of millions of dollars in in last I'm sorry in last compensation from the studio. So basically, so I, I don't confuse you with the with the whole legal jargon here. Basically, um, in a nutshell, Universal wanted Neil Mords to take a bit of a pay cut. A reduction in compensation, um, and when Moritz refused, I think Universal wanted to also kind of take his credit out of Hobson Shaw, which pissed him off even more. Now, Neil Moritz has been with the Fast and the Furious franchise since the beginning, since the beginning. All right, the first Fast and Furious movie in two thousand one. As a matter of fact. If you read it up, uh, if you if you read up the history of the franchise, uh, Neil Moritz is one of the people who approached Paul Walker for the project, The Fast and the Furious. Uh, I think they called it some other some other name at the time, and Paul Walker had this idea for it too, like, oh, how about we do like a mix of Days of Thunder and this and that. So they were there from the beginning. So to have somebody who's been there from the beginning all of a sudden getting you know a pay cut or maybe not even a credit in the spin-off mo movie it's it I don't blame Neil Moritz for suing Universal <laughs> let me just say that much uh let me give you the quote here on the article it says in an extraordinary show of bad faith, and just a few days before filming was set to begin on Hobbs and Shaw, Universal took the position that Moritz either had to amend his oral producer deal to accept substantially inferior financial terms or be cut out of the picture altogether. Remarkably, despite Moritz having complete pay or play protection on all of his last several deals on the Fast and the Furious franchise and having relied on Universal's oral promises, Universal also took the product over an approximately year and a half period without honoring its oral producer agreement. Wow. So it seems that Universal was trying to pull up a fast one on him now <laughs> no pun intended trying to cut corners and pull a full pull a fast one on neil mords and neil mords was like aha i see what you're doing there yeah <laughs> no no i'm suing your ass <laughs> um so that's where we are right now the lawsuit has been filed um no update yet as to whether they've settled or reach an agreement, whatnot. No update yet. Um, let me read to you more here on the article. It says that um, the budget for Hobbs and Shaw was actually 15 million less at the time of this call than it had been when Universal had first sent the draft producer agreement to Moritz Council in May 2018, which contained the first dollar gross deal to which the parties had orally agreed. 
Okay, so I'm not a lawyer. Okay, I'm not trying to give you some law mumbo jumbo jargons here. So there might be also, according to that quote, I'm just speculating here. There may have been a, a something like like an an agreed upon something that they agreed upon that that Universal saying, hey, you know, this is what you agreed on this project, and now you're trying to sue us. Um, So we'll see. We'll see who gets to win this case. But right now, though, if you ask me, hey, Rama, which side are you on? I think I'm going to be going on the Neil Mord side here, man. Um, Because if I was on his shoes, I'd be like, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. I helped build these characters, you know. Um, and now you want to make a profit or make a movie, another movie, a spin-off movie based on some of the characters from this franchise that I built and I don't get shit for it. Yeah, that's, that's not cool. That's not cool. Um, now, if you remember though, before Hobson Shaw started production, remember Tyrese Gibson, one of the stars of the franchise, he too had a problem with the project. As a matter of fact, he had a beef with Dwayne Johnson about the idea of him, you know, spinning off Hobbs and the character Shaw. Now, if I remember, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Tyrese was upset because he felt that Fast and Furious should be one unit, should be like, you know, like the theme in the movies, family, like, you know, you don't. Know, we ride together, we die together, you know, some cheesy shit like that. <laughs> so it's like, we're a family, man. We're a unit. You know, you can't just do spin off on us like that. So that's basically what Tyler is arguing. You know, he doesn't like the fact that um, I think he at, at one point, Tyrese also said like, hey, this is how I feed my kids. You know, this is my livelihood. And you're taking that chunk away from us, you know, to, to go off and make your own Hobbs and Shaw movie. F you, Dwayne Johnson. That's basically what Tyrus has said. Um, some people at the time when that happened, some people say, oh, that's just publicity stunt. You know how Tyrus and Dwayne are actually friends and they just want to, you know, cause this commotion. Like when Dwayne Johnson had a commotion with, with Vin Diesel on the set, it's all publicity, man. Just so you can, so you can like, you know, get, so, so you can pay money and get your ass into the theater seats and, and watch the movie. No, I think I think they really had a beef, and I think the the thing with Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel that was I think I think that was real too. It was not like it was not a publicity stunt, and I think Tyrese really genuinely did not like the fact that Hobbs and Shaw exists this movie, um, and now we have this lawsuit, uh, which we don't have the update to yet. Um, but if I were to pick a side, you know, because I'm always. <laughs> I'm always anytime there's a like a law case or or a courtroom case, you know, when when it's not so clear who's the bad guy or the good guy, you know, some 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 cases are black and white, but I, most of the time I'll be like, okay, who's the little who's the little guy here? Who's the David here? You know, versus the Goliath. Who's the David? And I'll and I'll go root for that guy. I'll go root for David. I'll go root for the little guy. And just basing on this article alone, it seems that. Um, it seems that Neil Moritz is the one that's getting the bad end of the deal. So I feel for the guy and hopefully he gets his, um, uh, what, what he deserves, man. Well, I mean, like not in a bad way, but he gets paid what he deserves. That's what I mean. So yeah, and it's going to be interesting though. Who knows too, maybe when Hobbs and Shaw, uh, is about to hit theaters, and they're having their press promotion, you know, because the, the actors have to do promotion, right? They have to do press junkets and do TV interviews. Maybe the questions will come up too. Maybe some of the press will ask about this, the press junket, and we'll see how they handle some of those questions. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what their answers are when that time comes. All right. Uh, what do you think about this lawsuit against Universal Pictures over the Fast and Furious spin-off movie Hobbs and Shaw starring Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham. What do you think about this case? And are you excited about this spin-off? Or are you on the camp of like, oh my God, 
why is this franchise still running? This franchise just needs to die already. <laughs> so which camp are you on? Which, uh, which side on that spectrum? So share your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I want to hear what you think of this particular topic. Let's wrap this.